to our channel Teaching and Learning. In this channel, we mainly talk about business communication, IELTS practice, English language, and many other important things. In this video, is I am following the series of the videos for the business English BBS. First year, business English. So, we have up to now we have completed unit 4. Now we are trying to do the so, without any delay, let's start today's lesson. And before we starting today's session, I really want to request, if you are new to our channel, please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon so that you can receive the videos uh, in future. Because if you are interested to develop your skills and knowledge in the field of English language, academic and professional language as well as personal use of English. IELTS practice, business communication, business English and some of the other important areas, other important subject matter, then our channel, this teaching and learning channel will support us. And here I am Jeff TS, my name is Jeff TS and I am trying to support you in this learning. And I also would like to request all of you to put your comments and feedback because that will give me encouragement for the upcoming videos. Your small comments can be very meaningful for me and it can help me to improve my coming videos. So do not hesitate to comment the videos, comment my presentation, my language, my, my examples and explanations so that I can improve. I will take all of them with high level of feedback. So let's start today's session, Unit 5, Business English for the students of BBS. By the way, it is not only for the students of BBS, for all the professionals who really want to get kind of exposures. Here are some stories, some beautiful essays and poems. We, we analyze them in four levels, which gives you the comprehensive ability, which also strengthens your analytical power also. So these videos are equally important to all the people who really want English for the academic purposes. So, Unit 5, the title is Television. Obviously, whenever we uh, listen the word television or we read the word television, then we understand that what it is. So, here it's a device, an electronic device in which we can have audio and video together. So, uh, the first, even the first lesson of this unit is the raised. The W R E T C H E D raised storm. Raised means something with bad luck, with bad symptoms, something negative. Crossed, caused with the, you know, those kind of storms. It is written by Cheers Van Asberg and he is from the United States. And uh, let's go to the you know four level interpretation. The raised stone. What is raised stone? What sort of stone it is? Okay. Let's go to the uh, from the literal comprehension, then we'll understand what the writer is describing about raised stone. The ship on its way come across a strange island which was full of vegetation, but the plants had no any fruits. They found Three, they found their shining stone and took it to the ship. This stone has a very uh, strange and strong effect to the crew of the ship. They all spend their free time watching this shining stone sitting in a round way to the stone. Accidentally, there is a problem in the ship because it strikes to a stone. The captain alert those crew but no one are interested to his command and request. The crew member became like a with all the hair in their bodies. They even do not understand the language of the captain. Actually, because of the effect of the evil stone, everyone turned to F. Then captain decides to throw the stone. Uh, from the ship. This is the, you know, literal comprehension, basic 
description of this you know essay the race is strong a group of people were traveling uh, from one place to another in the ship and they they found they found themselves nearby one you know island where they found the green vegetation but there were no fruits they also found the very shining stone there uh, which was very shining and very attractive once they bring to them to that stone into the ship and all his crew members just used to spend their free time in the beginning uh, sitting around the you know that the shining stone slowly and gradually they 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 you know could not take care a lot for their duties and responsibility they just engaged to the shining stones and they spend their time slowly and gradually they become the ep they could not understand each other's language feelings command they they forgot they actually forgot the duties and responsibilities and at last you know they look like app and they they had all hair covering uh, you know in their body also so they became app because of watching that red stone and at last the captain decided to throw the you know that shining stone from the sea what does it mean the shining stone the red stone obviously television you know no doubt there is no doubt it is not very strange over there in our day to day life in our family and community also that television has a very great impact to our life sometimes we don't like to use television that way but it has control us we are not watching it we are not engaged ourselves with it from our desires from our choice but we are compelled to do these things nobody knows how that rich stone how the television has been controlling the human from very high level from very powerful way this is very important things we understand from this one so now let's move to the interpretation the text tries to show the negative effect of scientific innovation people are very happy in using new electronic devices but they never notice the negative consequences of those devices in our life this text actually talks about the bad effect of television in our life tv not only makes us lazy but it also contributes to loss our creativity and talent so when we buy the television very large screen flat and led tv at that time we are very happy when we buy and we install it in our meeting room at home but slowly and gradually we are we have faced many negative consequences we become dull lazy our you know our level of creativity goes down and talent also decreases to the very lower level so these all things highlights the negative consequences negative impact of television to human life literally they make human the app so how many of you want to be app by watching television so please do not watch television much more that is the message this way we can interpret the essay or let's say this you know story critical thinking the text makes us aware about the negative consequences of the scientific devices it's okay because this text has you know highlighted the negative consequences of television scientific discovery that te- that television electronic devices there are some points that the writer missed to mention furthermore some questions can be raised can tv make someone app is it possible how many people have become app by watching television in present day world there are so many you know tv lover people but even though they watch tv they are also equally good creative in their life also people can become little bit dull or you know they lose their creativity that's okay they become little bit lazy but can a tv 
transform human into app? Is it possible? Obviously not. That is the questions we can raise. TV make someone app? Obviously no. How TV can negatively affect human life and thinking? How can we say that it is negatively, you know, um, uh, affect human life and thinking? Are there not any advantages of TV? It means TV is a really a red stone. Is it red stone? Doesn't have uh, some advantages over there? Doesn't it help us? In information, entertainment, and you know news. What about it? To educate the people. How without TV people can get the knowledge, entertainment, and relax in these busy time schedules? We are very busy. We run here and there to maintain our life. So whenever we have free time in the evening, can't we watch one or two hours till television? Or can't we watch our you know favorite programs? For example, you know some some movies, sports, serials, and you know, those things. So these are some questions that we can raise regarding uh, this, you know, the raised one in the critical thinking. Let's move to the assimilation. This story led to the realization that every shining and glittering object has negative consequences in the life. So do not run for the you know, those things which are very shining and glittering. All the glittering objects cannot be gold. So that way it has impacted to my life. More specifically, I noticed that TV is one of the negative equipment in our house. It really destroys our creativity and imagination. Particularly, particularly I also love to watch some movies and some reality show. But I comparatively watch TV more than other people watch. So this essay, this story, this text, this lesson has given me the you know, realization that from tomorrow I will not watch that much TV. I will, it doesn't mean that I'm going to you know, give up watching TV in my life. What I'm trying to do is I will decrease the hour and time amount that I spend in television so that I can invest my time and resource for something creative to support other people and to uh, enhance my education and skills also. So this way we have completed the four level interpretation of the lesson, the red stone. The writer in this lesson tries to you know, explain, beautifully present with the example about the negative impact and consequences of the television. If somebody asks you what are the negative consequences of the television, watching excessive television, then this lesson would be the perfect example to answer these questions. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, we move to the second lesson of this unit, unit 5, television. This second lesson is also the final lesson of unit 5. So the second lesson, the title is Can TV Can Be a Good Parent? Written by Ariel Gore. Ariel Gore, USA, he is a, you know, a, a, the US writer. So uh, here in this text, you know, how TV can be the good parents. TV can be good parents. It means the writer is trying to uh, explain, trying, trying to describe what are the, you know, um, what are the positive consequences, positive impact of watching television for the children. If we select some of the programs, if we arrange the particular time, schedule for watching TV, so for the child TV can be a good parent. The writer has mentioned this way. Okay, let's go to the four level interpretation. Number one, literal comprehension. The writer of the text cites the research by American Academy of Pediatrics that parents do their children an injustice every item when they let them watch TV. As mentioned in the research, parents should not allow children to watch 
TV researchers they have also mentioned that it is not a good idea to leave our child in front of the TV uh, when we are working. Okay, researchers have also recommended that way. But the writer shows how TV can be good, can be useful for the working mothers like herself, who can spend sufficient time for who cannot spend sufficient time for the children. Here, many researchers, many advocates, social advocates, where they encourage many educationalists, they recommend, they highlight the you know finding of the uh, contemporary research. What it says is, it is not good idea to put your child in front of the TV when you are working, when you are working in the household works or you are going to the office, our office work. It is not a good idea. But writer is not going to accept that. What she says is, if the mother works for the family, if uh, mother uh, have, if the mother has some businesses, some job, and some other tasks to do for her family or for her, then for those mothers, it is better to, uh, to put their children in front of the TV so that they can learn a little bit if the mother really selects some useful programs and time period for their children. So she says, she highlights that way. When she needed time for herself, she found that the TV programs like Big Ball and Brownie the Dinosaur are better parents than herself. Sometimes, you know, some there are some programs in the, on the television. They can teach your child more than you. There are very beautiful programs through which the children learn some social values, some duties and responsibilities of a good person, what are the human virtue. Those things they can learn. So sometimes you know, television can become more useful than the parents. It can teach more than a parents does, according to her. She is surrounded by the host of problems and she cannot be a stay-at-home mother. TV at all and is recommendation that the pediatrician view that TV is not the best learning tool and it can be interactive. She is not ready to accept, uh, accept the assumption that TV watching kid don't interact with her parents. She cites American Academy of Pediatrics AAP app report that states she is going, she is doing her daughter an injustice every time she lets her watch TV. Babies and toddlers need direct interaction with parents for healthy brain growth and for cognitive skills. Exposing young children to television should be discouraged. Gore analyzes the report and defends herself. She admits that the babies and toddlers have a critical need for direct interaction with actual people. However, she disagrees with the view that children should not be exposed to television. She thinks that Sticking them in front of TV all day and all night should be discouraged. But watching kids don't interact with their parents is a false assumption. She also criticizes Art's view that young children should not watch TV at all. And it's recommendation that the pedi pediatrician view that TV is not best learning tool and it can be interactive. So here, the writer from her own experience, from her life example, she suggests and she criticizes the viewpoints of App American, you know, uh, this American Association, uh, uh, sorry, American Academy of Pediatrics. You know, App encourages the mother to look after their children, to keep themselves with her and to interact with her. It is not good work, good way to put them to let them to watch the television so it is bad but the writer is trying to say trying to highlight the value of television 
for the children's life. It is according to her, it is not good idea to put your child day and night in front of the TV. Encourage him or her to watch TV. It is not good idea, but at least one or two hours, two to three hours in a day, the children can watch the television and they can learn so many things which are sometimes very difficult or impossible in the society and community. Sometimes the TV programs can teach the child more than the mother does. So that way we need to understand she is trying to convince the American Academy of Pediatrics and the scholars, those who... Now let's move to the, you know, interpretation of this. TV can be a good parent. What the writer tries to say through this, you know, essay. Let me read first, okay? In the text, the writer mentions the need and interest of the people to watch the TV. Every family, either because of the desire or compulsion, there might be desire or compulsion, whether they are by choice or by obligation, you know, let their children to watch TV. We are letting our children to watch TV. So our children are watching TV, either because of our choice or because of our obligation. Watching TV is very normal kind of thing. The writer says there might be some negative consequences of watching TV, but can we assume our children live without TV? The writer tries to express how TV has become compulsion in working class women's life. So there are some points that the writer tries to highlight, you know. First one is, watching TV is natural phenomena, either because of our choice or either because of our compulsion or obligation. We don't have time to look after our children so that we let them to watch the TV. There might be any reason, but watching TV has become the very natural phenomena for the present day children. So, uh, according to the writer, we can say that watching TV can be beneficial. So, if we arrange some particular programs, the specific time schedules, timetable for watching the TV for our kids, then it can help. It can help the children as the parents help them to learn, to grow. So, TV can be a good parent. If we, you know, manage some of the very fundamental things, then in our counseling, in our guidance, in our supervision, we can make TV as one of the very important device, important you know, elements through which our children can learn so many things. They can get entertainment, they, they can play with TV programs and they learn a lot of things whenever they are free. So it can be, it can be used as the parent, good parents. So now let's move to the uh, you know, critical thinking for this lesson, TV can be a good parent. Uh, uh, though the text is impressive, there are some points on which questions can be raised. Can TV function like parents? How the children get the chance of all-round development only watching TV? Is it good to let our children alone in front of the TV? Aren't there any negative consequences of TV? Can a child become creative who watches TV most of the time? You know, these are some questions that we can raise over here. Writer is highlighting the importance of television and she is comparing TV as the parents. Not only as the parents, but the good parents. According to her, sometimes television can teach our children, can entertain our children, can educate our children more than their parents do. So that is some questionable issue. And how can TV teach encourage and support our children as parents do. How can the real parents become bad or TV can become good? This is a little bit, you know, funny concept that we can raise some questions. Even though the essay is quite effective and professional. Last one is assimilation. What happened to me, to my life personally after reading this text? After reading the text, I came to know that TV does not have negative effect. TV in itself is not negative equipment. 
It's not negative device. Does not destroy your life. It is good in itself, but how do you use? You know, if you use it excessively, then you might have some problems. Look at this is due. You know, I'm not going to advertise it, but uh, from yesterday, because of some incidents and some very busy schedules, you can see some you know tiredness in my face also. I have been drinking it little bit more than I used to do in usual. So because of this, you know, I have, I could realize increasement in my sugar level. In my so wherever we go, whatever we do, there is a limit. Everything has positive and negative um, sides. If we see television neutrally, it doesn't have that much negative sides. I can really accept the assumption of the writer, you know, that television is not bad for children, it is good for children and it also helps our children to learn something to get entertainment and to educate themselves. Thank you very much. In this way, we have completed Unit 5. Thanks a lot. And, you know, in Unit 5, we had the title television television number one is the red system all the negative things of television how it is uh, uh, it is very negative for human life it is a kind of cost you know not blessing but cost so those negative things that brings um, that are brought by television here in second lesson tv can be a good parent the writer is explaining describing the need of television in present day world, either because of our choice or because of our obligation. Television and those people who are working day and night on the TV programs to support the kids, there are many programs which are very useful for the kids and they can teach our kids more than our parents. So television is good in the second lesson, television is bad. So that way you can check. And sometimes in the examination somebody might ask you the questions. What are the pros and cons of television? What are the merits and demerits of watching television for, for the kids, for the children? These are some questions that we can get examples from the text how they are, um, there are negative and positive consequences in the life of the world. Thank you very much. We have all together 14 units. Up to now we have finished unit 5. It's about 40% you know, course we have crossed. And if you have any questions, please do not feel hesitant. Write down the questions. Give me some suggestion and feedback. This is the platform. It is not for me. It is for you. Here I am trying to support your learning strategies. I really want to motivate you. Grab this platform, work hard, you can get the ideas from other resources also, from the books or from the internet, from other you know, Googles and YouTube videos. So you can compare with me that one and you can you know, enhance your knowledge and understanding from this. So please subscribe our channel, press the bell icons if you are new, uh, because you may forget. So please put a comment on the comment box give me some suggestion and feedback if you have or if you like this video please put the like and give us the like from uh, for this channels and thank you very much i hope you have understood today's session of the television of the race stone and tv can be a good parents thank you